Hi, this is Jeff from Not Paranormal. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a 12 LED IR light so you can use it with your Sony uh, camcorders with the uh, night vision. Please check out the LED calculator because that is where you can find it'll tell you everything and anything you need to know. You just put in how many LEDs you want, it'll tell you resistors, it'll give you the schematics. It's, uh, it's a good deal, it's free, just go to LED calculator. Just type it, just Google it, and uh, it'll come up. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tell me what you guys want. If uh, you can dream it up and I can figure out how to build it, I'll build it. All right, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one project box. This is a, actually a small one because I'm going to mount it on my, on my camera. You're going to need uh, a 9-volt connector. You're going to need a 9-volt battery. You're going to need 12 LEDs. These are 5 millimeters. You're going to need two 1 ohm resistors. You're going to need a battery clip. So that'll hold your battery to the box. You're going to need a hot glue gun. You're going to need hot glue. And you're going to need solder and uh, a soldering iron and you're going to need uh, two pieces of scrap wire I mean you could use any wire as long as it's you know not broke or damaged alright here's how this is going to work this is your plus side of your 9 volt battery if you can see the red and the green the red side being positive the, on your LED the longest lead is your positive lead so what you're going to need to do is you're going to take that your first lead, your negative side to your positive side, so it'd be negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, and on and on and on. This is your negative side, and that's where your two one ohm resistors are going to go. And this is, uh, I got this off of a LED calculator, and they, uh, you just put in your, your voltage source, and I mean, it's easy to do how many LD, LEDs you're going to use and it'll spit out all the information you need alright now I've got all the IRs uh, I've got them all soldered it looks like crap but we'll take care of that so next I'm going to solder my my two my two uh, resistors into place alright that's what it's going to look like when you uh, after you've soldered the other two ends. But I'm going to go to this end now and I'm going to make a jumper wire from here to here so I can connect it to my uh, my lead for my battery. Alright, now I've got my two little jumper wires and now I'm going to solder the positive side of my battery my battery uh, clip. I'm going to solder that together with that. So this is completing the uh, the hot side of the whole system. Alright, that's what that's going to look like. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black wire. These, are, This is your ground off your diode end. And you're going to solder those two together and you're basically done. Alright, now that I've got my box, I'm going to take my box. I'm going to mount my, uh, on my camera slide, I'm going to mount this, my lights facing this way. So first thing I want to do is turn this over to the back and put a hole right in the bottom. And it don't it don't matter what size it is as long as you can get two wires in. So basically all you gotta do is pick a spot and let it eat. Alright, the next thing you're gonna do is take a piece of paper and uh draw the line outline of your, your box. This particular box is three inches by two inches. So what I wanna do, I wanna take a pen and mark where my holes connect the box together at. I'm going to mark them on both sides. And that's where I can't drill because that's what holds the box together. So basically anywhere in here I can go ahead and make a template out of this using a, a level and I need 12 holes. Okay what I've did is I've come to my, these are going to be your holes that connects your box. So what I've did, I've 
with my marks I've drawn a, a grid. Now I can come in here and measure all this out with the tape measure and figure out where my holes are because I'm going to use this as a template and I'll show you how to do that next. Alright here's what I have did. I've got an inch of space that I can actually, I could probably fit a few more lights in here but I've only made the system up for 12 but I've went, there's an inch space, I split that in half and I went every three eighths and put me a mark. So what, next what I'm going to do is cut this out and then I'm going to take and tape it I'm going to tape it to the top of this and then that will give me where I want to drill my holes. Alright, I've cut it out. I just want to lay it right on top. Take a couple pieces of electrical tape. Real simple. I said real simple, but I'm quite crazy. Take it. Hold it straight down like that. That's all you need. That'll hold. Another piece of tape. centered up so it ain't so crooked. This is my method. You could do this any way you really want to, but this is this is where you know this this looks the best to my eyes, so this is the way I do it. So basically right here you're gonna drill a hole, a hole, a hole, and you're just gonna keep continued on and that's gonna give you twelve holes to get your your uh your five millimeter IR lights through. Make sure you check your uh, your sizes for your drill bit because I I started with this case and I used the wrong size bit. It's a, a 1634 is what you need. So this will save you another box because I just ruined a whole box. This is what you're pretty much gonna you're gonna have when you're done. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to, the hole you did in the back, you want to take your uh, your two wires and solder them back together. Alright, everything's soldered together now. I've got my, my plug coming out of the back and I've taped it off. Now the real hard part about this whole thing is to get all that mess into here. And I'll show you how to do that. Alright, it's really not as hard as it looks. I've got my, uh, I've got two started so then I just gotta just gotta gently take them and line them up you gotta do basically about two at a time to get it to actually work push it all the way up in get your other, your next one started then you just keep going right down the line alright now they're all in then you want to go back through and make sure that all your leads are right and that you're not on another lead that would, that's gonna mess the whole system up because if you have one flaw in the system like one light don't work none of them's going to work so uh, make sure you check that and uh, I'm about ready to hot glue alright all right, now that the gluing's done I'm just going to wait till the glue to dry I've only basically got one more step which is to mount the uh, the battery holder and that'll take about three seconds and once everything dries I'll put it in and I'll show you uh, the finished result I'm done.